We got approved. Hey, I'm Shanae. After spending years on a deeply inward spiritual journey, I'm now ready to spiral on out. Here's my journey of me doing just that, living my life. Welcome to my documentary. I'm doing this new thing where I want to make documentaries and so I guess this is the welcome to the first one. <laughs> um, I've just been having a lot of shifts, a lot of ideas really, just a lot of ideas and I'm just like, you know what? Let's try them. And so one of them with this YouTube channel is I want to document the amazing life that I manifest. The major thing that I want to talk about as far as for the first thing that I think I want to release as far as a storyline would definitely be sacred spaces or homes, apartments, whatever you want to call it. Um, if you followed me for any amount of time, you will have seen me move out of my parents' house with my husband um, two years ago, I think. 2017, I think it was. Or 2016. This was like our first step on our own, but I'm going to be honest, and we kind of rushed out of it. Um, rushed out of here. And I feel like at the time, it was kind of like that feeling of you can't wait to get out of your parents' house, you know, you want to just be on your own so you can do things and run the run your house the way you want to run them. It was kind of like that kind of thing. And so we moved out and we moved into actually um, an apartment complex that I had previously lived at when I was a child. So it was like 15 years, you know, 15 year difference. I had lived there and then came back, you know. Um, and it was old. There were roaches everywhere, huge, like Texas, the Texas-sized cockroaches, huge, um, everywhere. Our apartment was infested when we moved in. There were roaches in the stove. You know, we were paying a really low amount, like 700 and something for a, a 900 square foot one bedroom, which was awesome. Um, that apartment taught us a lot. We were there for a year. Um, that was the space where I grew out of my Hebrew Israelite belief system. I left my home no longer a Christian, so I left this space. This is my parents' house I'm in now. Funny story, right? Everything comes full circle. Um, I left here um, no longer a Christian, and I left here a Hebrew Israelite, and I entered into the space as a Hebrew Israelite, the new space, and I left that space no longer attached to any religion. So that space definitely was a growth space for both my husband and I, not only on a spiritual level, but on a mental level, just on an everything level. From there we moved into, you know, we had kind of gotten an idea of what we didn't want in our next space. So we moved into a, a new space that was on a six month lease, which was new for us because we'd never done a six month lease before. Um, and that space was also its own form of test. Uh, we had no heat or, well we had air conditioners, but they were so dusty. I'm telling you, they had mold in them. Uh, we would never used them. And so Texas, if you don't know, gets freaking hot. And so we were there from December 20... Let me see, we moved. Okay, so we moved to the first place from December 2016 to like December 2017. We moved to the new space in the six month lease, December 7, 2017 through June 2018. Um, and so we went through the cold <laughs> where we had no heat and we had bought space heaters because we figured it wouldn't be that bad. It was bad. Um, we had to move like all my plants. A lot of them looked like they were on the brink of death. I was doing like a lot of the fruitarian raw vegan challenges and stuff like that and I was just dropping weight like crazy because I was facing a lot of my emotions. So that space in itself held a lot of growth for my husband and I as well. And so the Next space we every and by the way every space we moved into was an upgrade. But um, if you don't know, I study numerology very deeply, um, and so when every space we moved into was a nine, so the the apartment number, the address number would add up to a nine, and my parents' house is a five, so we jumped from a five to a nine. And my naive self, you know, back then, I thought that that was super cool because I was like, oh, we're skipping all the numbers, right? 
and so that means we must have matured a lot no 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 <laughs> but anyway so we move we we get we get ready to look for a new space and um we find a new space and it's an upgrade and it's a huge upgrade compared to the two spaces we lived in prior um the apartments not this space um and so this one was a condo it was in a building with an elevator we had covered parking it was newly renovated we were like super excited about it, it was on the fifth floor it had a huge patio like 30 feet long with these huge sliding door windows and in, in, um, all the rooms that were adjacent to the patio but yeah that space was an upgrade and in that space we were there from June 27 June 2018 to December 2018 and then obviously we came here after that um, so that was a six month lease. That was one where we actually thought we would stay longer and renew the lease, but the landlords ended up moving back in. So that was its whole test situation, which we handled actually very, very, very well. We had no, like we initially had some frustration and anger, but within an hour we had realized all the pros of the situation. We realized how everything was coming full circle. We were just grateful really for the situation and it brought us back here. Um, because we ultimately didn't have a space and we hadn't saved up anything because we were expecting to stay um, Which was also kind of naive on our part as well um, But we were able thankfully to come back here. So we came back here. Here we are full circle It is now March We've been here since December and we had this plan to start looking for new spaces come around March this time now um, and hopefully to be out by June so I've been learning a lot about myself here. And so with all that being said, um, my husband and I, you know, we came up with this plan in December. We wrote everything down that we kind of wanted to see happen. And we, one of the, one of the things we wrote down was that we really wanted to find a space that was brand new. Um, and we wanted it to have, you know, certain things. I have it written down. Um, all the details we wrote down and yeah we weren't in a rush we were like you know we'll start looking in March we'll give ourselves from December through March to like you know get our finances in order and you know re realign our budget and get ourselves just in shape with that and then come March we'll start looking and there will be no rush you know it'll be whenever whatever the perfect space for us is will show up and you know it'll all work out as planned or you know as as it's meant to and um, so funny thing is about a mile or two down the road they're built they they've been building this apartment complex and we've known about it for like over a year it's taken them a long time to it takes them a long time to build these things um, and when they first started building it the first thing my mom said was hey you guys should move in when they're done and, you know, I was just like, yeah, well, okay, we'll think about it. Because my parents live in what people may think is a very rich area of San Antonio, Texas. Um, there's a lot of pockets of these, like, rich areas. But this is an area that is, you know, people think is very affluent. And um, back when I was in college, I made it a plan to move actually down the street in the opposite direction um, from my parents. Because I was like, you know, I want to live in that area because I love that area. Um... But there were some limiting beliefs that I had, you know, and so that's one thing I want to say is every time we moved, not only was it an upgrade in, like, the way a space looked or felt, it was an upgrade in price. So the first space was around 7 something, 715 I think, a month for 900 square feet. And then we moved to the other space, which was, I think, about 900 square feet too, but it was 900 and something dollars a month. And then the last space we lived was... Um, a thousand dollars, ten twenty-five a month for I think a smaller space. I think it was like seven hundred square feet. Um, and so starting out initially, I was always like, I don't want to pay more than a dollar per square foot. Or I just had these views that you know I want to get my bang for my buck. And it wasn't like frugal in a wise sense. It was like I was trying to penny pinch because I felt like we couldn't afford um, we couldn't afford things. And it was funny because every time we leveled up, my husband's job leveled him up. So yeah, I just, over the last two years, I've dealt a lot with my limitations on lack and on money and on being able to experience what I want to experience. Just the last few weeks alone, my husband and I have been pushing our boundaries and we've looked at spaces that are kind of like, man, do we really like the newest space we've looked at and applied for it is um, $1,120 $1, a month just for the rent that doesn't include trash and pest control and water and electricity and internet and all that stuff and 
you know, it's just kind of like, that's something that in the past would be way out of my price range. And it's the smallest space that we would have ever lived in. It's 668 square feet. Um, and so it's just kind of like, I've been expanding myself um, a lot. I've always settled my whole entire life. I've constantly settled for less. And I've just decided I wasn't gonna do that anymore. I got this intuitive just feeling to go check out the apartment complex because they had just opened maybe a month ago. They had just opened their leasing office. And I was like, you know, I feel like we should go look. And mind you, over the last month, we've known that they had been open and they were doing this whole deal where you get eight weeks free because they didn't have any apartments to show. The leasing office wasn't open and they were like, if you apply and pre-lease now, you know, you get this deal. And I almost went for the deal, but I was like, I really wanna see the space. I wanna see if it feels right. And so I didn't go. And then I hit this point where I was like, and I kind of, like I hit this point where I was like, maybe we're not meant to live there. And so I just let it go. And then all of a sudden out of nowhere, I got this inkling to go check it out. And it was, I think a Friday, my husband had off and we just went, you know, on a whim. And we literally got there with perfect timing. Um, the office had been open for a month, but they had just opened the second building, which was where we were looking to move in the first place when we first started looking at the, the layout. Um, and the units were ready to see. And on top of that, the, the man that we were working with, he snuck the keys to show us a unit that he felt like would be perfect for us. Which, by the way, was not the unit I was originally looking at. The unit I was originally looking at in that building had the lowest uh, rent payment. It was ten eighty a month. And this one that he showed us that he felt was perfect for us had a pool view. It's a corner room. It's a pool view. So it costs more. It's in the higher tier of that, that um, floor plan. Um, so he showed us a whole bunch of floor plans. And then he showed us this last one. And we fell in love completely with it my husband was like we're moving here and we had no idea how or anything like that um, you know just said you know what this is what we're doing and it was funny because it turned out that they were still running the eight weeks free deal um, something that I had originally was going to just give in and just say hey let's just do it let's just apply um, not having seen the space and stuff because I was like two weeks I mean two months free that's awesome you know um, but that would have been me settling because I wouldn't have gotten to see the space. I wouldn't have gotten to see if it aligned with what we wrote down um, and all that stuff. So we, one, got to go see the space and all of that. Um, we fell in love with the space. We fell in love with like the view and everything. And we decided we were going to apply. And we, we applied. So it's Monday, March 25th, and I just had these feelings come up and I just like was like, okay, I need to clearly just express this so that I can release and let it go and ultimately come into a space of trusting and not even just trusting, but just knowledge, just knowing how things work in this world, in this universe. And so one of the things that keeps coming up is this kind of anxiety um this nervousness about this new space um again it's the 25th we applied officially um seven days ago well officially won't be seven days until probably like 4 p.m or 5 p.m or something i forget but you know last week on mondays when we applied for this new space and we haven't heard anything back as far as approval and I mean, the one thing we did here back was like just the notification that the, like the manager of the property, property manager, <laughs> I couldn't think of the word for a second, but that the property manager had signed, basically signed the application, which is just them like doing their part, acknowledging that the application has been received or whatever. And we haven't heard anything back since. And I've just had like this, I don't know, low level anxiety about it. Like, you know, because uh, again, the whole deal thing was that if you move in before the 31st, which is in six days, <laughs> that you would get two months free. And so we technically applied for the date of the 29th, which is this Friday, which is in four days. 
and we haven't heard anything back, like I said, and, you know, um, we wanted to be able to take advantage of the eight weeks, the full two months free, you know, so that's just one aspect of things is one, not hearing anything back. There's like this, I don't know, this anxiety or nervousness that I have that we won't be approved. And that deals with feeling like what we provided in the application is not enough, um, that we don't make enough, which I've already calculated and we do. Um, but I don't know, it's just like this, this overarching idea that we won't be accepted or we won't be approved or something. Y'all, I'm like, I'm shaky. <laughs> it's like you can see it on <laughs> my hand is shaking right now. Oh my God. Okay, so I was just filming for a new vlog, vlogumentary on about about getting a pet. And one of the biggest things I said was that I put it out to the universe in that I truly believed that, you know, our first dog was to be a girl dog and all this stuff. And I said, you know, I truly believe that everything would work in perfect timing and that, you know, we would be able to move into the apartment or whatever, get everything, you know, and, and be able to, so that we could get the dog because we would be moving basically in two days, right? If we heard back and we had applied eight days ago, hadn't heard anything back. I finished that video at like one, one o'clock. And I'm sitting here like checking um, Instagram and stuff like that. I don't know, I don't know why. I'm supposed to be going to clean the bathroom right now. It's 1.30, I said I was gonna clean at one. I go and check my email and in the email, in my email inbox, there's an email from the apartment complex about move-in requirements. And I'm just like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> like you guys, we got approved. I'm just looking at the email and I'm just like, this is really, this, this shit is really happening. Two months free. We won't have to pay rent. We only have to pay rent, which is like $100 for the 29th through the 31st of March. We get all of April and all of May for free. And then we're on an 18 month lease. So that's, we'll, we'll be paying for 16 of those months. Officially in our new space. Well, we got the keys. I'm so excited. I'm gonna show you guys an empty apartment tour, and uh, I'm so excited. Okay, so let me go ahead and turn everything around. All right, so this is our front door. We actually have two locks. <laughs> we haven't had two locks in forever. But when you walk in, this is the living room area and so we have a patio and we have a desk nook which was a huge thing for me because right now we have um we've been using what we use as our kitchen table as a desk and so now we'll have like a kitchen table back again until we replace it with a new one but now i've got a desk nook <laughs> so we have these french doors um and then our patio overlooks the pool, which is pretty cool. They're not done building it yet, but I'm super excited. So we have the pool view here. So again, this is the living room. We've got hardwood flooring, and then you come over to the kitchen. This is the dining room right here. You come over to the kitchen area, and so excited. We have granite countertops, this super, super, super deep sink all stainless steel appliances. We have our, you know, our fridge, obviously, um, stove, dishwasher, tons of freaking storage. We have a pantry for once. <laughs> they gave us barbecue sauce. <laughs> um, we have a washer and dryer in our unit, which is really exciting. I don't even know where the light is, so. So yeah, we have our washer and dryer which is pretty cool. And 
yeah, so this is the dining room, as I said. Um, this is the bathroom, which is really, really nice. Granite countertops, again, tons of storage. A huge mirror, hello. <laughs> um, this tub is freaking huge. I cannot wait to take baths in here. And everything is like, like I don't have to change out the shower head, you know, everything is nice, perfect. Um, and then we have the bedroom, which has two entrances. And we also have a patio off of here. It's just a little patio. Um, like a little thing you can probably like, I probably just like put plants out there in a little chair if I wanna go sit in the morning. But this is our bedroom, so two doors to enter in. And it's a pretty good size, I would say. And then we have our walk-in closet over here, which is pretty big. This is the biggest closet I think we've had. So tons of shelving, tons of like storage. So anyways, that's our place in a nutshell. It's nice and cozy. It's, you know, perfect for just us right now. Um, the bedroom is the only area that has carpet, which is what I wrote down on our manifestation list of like what we wanted. So this space literally crossed everything off the list. Um, of what we wanted so super excited about that super nice um this has been the best move-in experience thus far the amenities are amazing um can't wait until the pool's finished but the gym all of that i mean the community just feels really 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 amazing and so yeah i just wanted to show you guys the empty space we'll be moving our stuff in most likely tomorrow we still need to find a bed so i'm gonna take you guys on that journey too because i've been just vlogging the whole process of manifesting what it is that we desire so I know one of those things was just like talking about how I really want a new bed because we got rid of our old one and we want a really high quality bed um but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and close out here so I can do any cleaning even though it feels like they cleaned the unit for us which is kind of crazy because again I've never moved into a space and it felt super clean um but yeah, 